Nola says she knew she was going to marry Andrew after he first pulled her pigtails when they were both eight years old. Aww. Now they're 21, have two kids, and they're engaged. She should be happy that her dream is coming true, except Andrew cheated. Aww. And when Nola demanded he choose between her and the other woman, Andrew told Nola to get out. Aww. Well, now they're back together, but there are new allegations of infidelity. Only this time, it's Andrew who's accusing Nola. Take a look. Me and my fiance Nola have been together for about five years. Nola means so much to me, and she had happened to bless me with two beautiful children. Andrew changes my whole world. When he walks into the room, it's just like a completely different place. Oh, I love him to the moon and back. There's no words that just can describe oh, my love for my, my fiance and my two children. I'll do anything for them. And she also gave us a dog that we had rescued from an abusive home. Her name is Ladybird. I'm here because I think she cheated on me. I suspected she cheated because uh, I had let a friend stay at my house for a little while. And within two weeks, they would just make eye contact with each other and it would hold for a good solid couple of minutes and it wouldn't let go or nothing like that. And then one day I come home, started rigging up some fishing poles and heard some noises upstairs. I had heard sex sounds coming from the bedroom. Nola has the very distinct sex sound. It's very, very high pitch. My heart got like started racing. My hands started getting clammy. My head started feeling heavy. And when I walked upstairs, I bursted into the room. I noticed that Nola had no clothes on while she was laying in the bed. I didn't see a guy there, but I did see a guy's pair of pants there. I think he was hiding behind something or hiding under the covers. So what I wanted to do was catch her in the act, and so I secretly put the phone in the corner of the room, propped up against something, pointed towards our bed, and I went downstairs for roughly 10, 12 minutes. Well, I heard a bunch of the noises pick back up, and then when I came upstairs, I barged into the room. I didn't see anybody there, and when I watched the video, you can hear noises in it. You can hear the bed creaking, and you can see blankets move around eventually. I would really like to make this relationship work. I have messed up in the past and I regret every bit of it. I had intercourse with another woman while in a relationship with Nola. I did cheat in the past, but it was only this one time. So at one point, Nola did tell me to choose either her or that woman, and I told Nola to get out. This other woman was harassing Nola. She was texting her that she was a bad mom. She was sending Nola pictures of me in bed with her. She was telling Nola that I was choosing her and hitting on her friends and stuff like that. Just trying to make us fight. That is 100% over and I'm devoted to my kids and Nola now. And all I want to do is better everything for Nola, me, and my children. For a minute, I didn't think I could get past it, but I knew I loved him more than just ending a relationship. So we worked through it. How is Andrew as a dad? He is a fantastic dad. Good dad, huh? He's a great dad. Yeah. How old are your kids? One and three. Yeah. Now you're here. You both took lie detector tests, right? Because he thinks you're, you're sleeping with a friend. Is the friend still staying with you? No. Yeah, got to get rid of him. Yep. Um, what if he fails? I honestly don't know. It, it kind of hurts to think if he is going to fail. I mean, you would really have to make a decision because he's cheated on you before. And listen, I'm not trying to break you out, but no. if he's cheated on you before and now he's cheating on you again, it might be a case of a guy being too young to be in such a serious relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah. When are you getting married? Uh, we have a wedding date planned for 2025. Two, two years from now? Yeah. That. Why so far in the future? Uh, we're waiting for the test results back on the lie detector test, and then we'll move Yeah, but forward. that's 2023. It is 2023. Yeah, but... that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, but you, you want to wait a while. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, nothing wrong with that. Let's meet your fiance. Andrew. I know I've done, in the, done wrong in the past, and I feel very bad about it. I chose the shoulder to lean on. That wasn't the shoulder I should have been leaning on, and I regret every step of it every day of my life. And every time I wake up and look at you and look at our kids, I just can't help but to regret the decision I made, and I just want to move on and succeed from here on out and thrive and do nothing but make you and our kids 
the best life that they can have. Can you relate to this story? Need my help? Call 1-888-STEVE-07. Do you think she's gonna fail her lie detector test? Honestly, the video, to me, seems like there's stuff in it. And I would hope that you don't. When you watch that video, you feel like you have evidence? Very much so. Are we playing that video? Yeah, let's play that video. Well, that is you definitely having sex. <laughs> I mean, like if there was a ghost in your house or something, you know? Like, how do you watch that and think that she's having sex? With there someone? was a, actually a moaning noise in the part of that video. It was like nine minutes and 30 something seconds through. There's a moaning. There was and that's moaning. the moaning noise that she makes with that's you. That's the moaning noise that I heard, and yes, yeah. that is the moaning noise. Did you forgive him for cheating on you? I got there. You got there? I got there. Oh, so I, you're past it already. I'm past the cheating part. Yeah. What are you not past? I'm not past the him accusing me of Oh, cheating. right. Well, because you're currently in it. All right, well, you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, since being in a relationship with Andrew, other than the time he knows about, have you had sexual contact with any other person? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Andrew, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? You answered no. Results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Nola told the truth. I would first like to say, my very first thing is I would like to say to you is I am sorry for everything I've ever done, every word I've ever said to you, every ac accusation I have accused you for, everything that I've ever said to you about uh, you cheating on me, I apologize from the bottom of my heart, and I really mean that. I want to do nothing but thrive from here up from with you, and I want to see our kids succeed. I want nothing but you, and I'm very sorry. I love you. I love you. Hey, are you nervous about this? I got very high anxiety. I'm nervous well, no, about no, anything. Well, no, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. That doesn't cause a, a, a negative or a positive result. I'm saying, are you nervous that I'm about to read it? No. No. Absolutely not. No. No. <laughs> Andrew came here, took a lot of tuck to test, and we asked him. Since being in a relationship with Nola, other than that woman, have you had sexual contact with any other woman? He answered no. Since being in a relationship with Nola, other than that woman, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered no. The results came back the same to both of those questions. And it came back that Andrew told the truth. I love you too, Nola. Well, now you're getting married in 2025, she says, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Got plenty of time to plan. Plenty of time. Plenty. Um, but it has to be hard to be this young in a relationship. But you do have something really good in your life. You got a woman that, man, she's dedicated to you. Uh, she gave you two beautiful kids. I'm sure you love them. She says you're a wonderful dad. So when you have thoughts of like, oh, I need somebody's shoulder to cry on, Make sure you know whose shoulder you need to cry on. Always be you and forever be you. Well, I'm glad it worked out for you. Very nice meeting you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Take care. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action.